Nittany Lion Roar here, and it is day two of my Jack Attack series. We've got a three-star rush attack tournament going on here. All special skills are set to very fast, so what I'm trying to do is use three level jacks to set off a cascade of those pumpkin bombs going off to see if I can beat teams that way. Now, I had mentioned in day one's video yesterday that I do have a concern that the jacks are actually a little bit too slow, even though the special is listed as fast. It does take three turns for those pumpkin bombs to go off unless you can kill the hero that has the pumpkin bomb on it earlier. Um, as I learned yesterday, the pumpkin bombs going off actually only mattered in one out of the five matchups. So I'm going to try something a little different with my attack strategy today. And that's basically to go for longevity in offense. And so instead of Nordry, I'm going to take Kvasir. I thought about possibly using Kvasir yesterday, but I'm actually going to do it this time. So I'm just going to try to keep my jacks alive long enough to be able to let all the pumpkin bombs go off. Now, what's interesting is... Yesterday, uh, even in most of the ones that I had won, I, the pumpkin bombs going off didn't even matter. It was actually Jack's initial damage that he does that was actually uh, doing enough damage to basically kill them. So between tiles and the initial damage, it wasn't actually the pumpkin bombs that tended to be winning it for me. But uh, let's try this. Let's see if we can get any cascades going um, or if maybe Jack's just too slow. We'll find out. Okay, we have some purples on the board, but we're going to have to kind of work them a bit, uh, if possible, because they're not arranged in a way I can get the jacks to go off quickly. Okay, so we should have the jacks off now. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, who needs to die? Probably these guys over here. Well, let's see. Um, I'm going to go with that, that, that. All right. So now we wait for the pumpkins and hopefully it's good enough. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> that effect doesn't let me receive new minions. That's pretty terrible. Okay. Well, this is going to be very difficult. All right. Let's um Let's put a pumpkin there. They're going to share damage, so it doesn't really matter the direct damage is going to deal it to everybody, but I want to try and kill these guys over here. So I want those pumpkin bombs to go off around the same time. I think I'm just going to ghost because I don't, I want to try to not set them off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm only going to get one minion out of this, but... Okay, and that should be it. All right. Well, that no new minions thing was actually kind of kind of difficult there. Do 
Man, not receiving minions for four turns was actually brutal. I'll have to watch out for Kvasir when I take <laughs> Kvasir against other Kvasirs again. Um, that's just not even a special that usually matters with three-star heroes, and I had totally forgot about it. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue with this next one. Oh, man. Should I attack purples with purples? Probably not, but this wouldn't be jack attack without jacks, so maybe I'll just uh, swap in another yellow hero. And I'm either going to go with Bane or Melia. I think it's smart to go with Bane, though. That way I can target a hero with a pumpkin bomb, potentially. All right, let's see here. I would like to see a little bit more yellow on the board. I'm going to mess up a yellow match if I make this green match. Well, it'll make a new yellow match. It'll set, set up a second yellow match. I think I should make the green dragon bomb first. Try and get a little bit more yellow and purple onto the board. Yellow Dragon Bomb or Purple Dragon Bomb. If I make the Purple Dragon Bomb, it doesn't set up a purple match over there. If I make the yellow one, it could. I think it's smarter to make the yellow one. That just sets up the purples to be a little bit closer together. I wonder if that's enough yellow to kill him. Not quite. I'll just go ahead and kill Hawkmoon. Okay. All right, so we've got the pumpkin bombs again. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can set off a little chain reaction over here. Okay, not a great chain reaction. But there they go. Okay, we've gotten to see some pumpkin bombs this time around. I wouldn't say it feels super powerful. But it's happening. You can set up a yellow diamond. So that is nice, but we need more purples. There's hardly any purples on the board. But this will hopefully help to keep us Alive at least a little bit here. I think I'm going to make this blue match. It does preserve the purple dragon bomb that's there and creates a purple diamond, so that's nice. That's why I like to let things clump a little bit. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Um, we just didn't get enough purple early for this to matter, probably, but... Yeet. Well, this is all pretty terrible. Hmm. Let's just try to kill him.
Man, rough going on this one. All right, then. Yeah, the, the slowness of the purple <laughs> pumpkin bombs there kind of showed up again, unfortunately. Okay. And now we have a mostly yellow defense, so that's interesting. I think I still want Cabase here. We're working on longevity here. I think those B minions are so excellent. See if we can get a few more purples on the board. Oof, yikes. Hmm, do I make the red diamond or the purple match underneath Melia? I think I'm going to go for the red diamond, because um, that won't set her off, probably. Yeah, there we go, That that's okay. This is going to be real bad for me. <laughs> so the the pumpkin bombs actually worked there that caused the cascade that i was looking for that actually saved my butt so that's interesting that one looked hopeless i looked lost there but then when the pumpkin bombs went off uh because uh the, the tiles killed did enough damage that it killed a hero that had a pumpkin bomb and set another pumpkin bomb off so that that was good that did a ton of damage all right, one more today. Here we go, another sort of yellow defense. Start off with a red diamond, then a blue diamond. The blue diamond's nice. I need to set that off ASAP. I can make another blue diamond out of it too. Okay, we need to get rid of some chaff now. One, two, and three, and that's it. Okay, all right, that one was mostly won on tile damage, because <laughs> Gunner uh, won that one for me, basically. Okay, once again, um, the jacks are interesting, I don't know how good it is, but it's a lot of fun. Sometimes they lose it for me because they're just a little bit too slow. And sometimes when they all go off, they save my butt. So um, kind of interesting so far. Let's see how the defense is doing. The defense with the jacks isn't doing so great either. So I won the very first one there, but then lost three in a row. Uh, I don't have any emblems on my defense at all. So I'm sure there are people who are fighting this defense that do have emblems. But it looks like the defense, you know, with the with the very fast heroes here, that the pumpkin bombs really just might be taking too much of a penalty having to wait some amount of turns for that. And especially because, I don't know, on defense, you can't really control when those bombs go off because at least when I'm on offense, I can target heroes that have the pumpkin bomb and set them off so that they do more damage. But on defense, you're relying on the artificial intelligence, which... um. Seems really smart sometimes. Like, of course, when you're going against it, they always kill the hero you don't want them to kill and stuff like that. But I don't know. You really can't. It, it's it's kind of random. So you can't really control who the defense is hitting. Um, okay, well, I think it remains to be seen uh, if the jack attack strategy is more than just fun 
um, if it's actually good. Uh, evidence so far is it's probably about average. It doesn't seem bad, but it doesn't seem great either. Uh, but there's three more days left in this tournament. I'm in the top 5% right now. We'll see how this goes. How is your tournament going? I'm wondering if the fact that it's very fast is just... Uh, it is a challenge. Um, it's hard anyway. Even if I were to optimize my attacks and take the best heroes I have, sometimes the match is just over before you can do anything about it because very fast defenses, especially in this format where you can't put level 23 mana or level 11 mana troops on your heroes, um, can make it slower. But uh, let me know in the comments, how's your attacks going? What do you think of this jack attack defense? Is this what you expected? Is it surprising you a little bit? Um, also, before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so when you, you know when I drop more videos. And I will catch you in the next one.